Hey guys, it's Tiffany from Bella Juicy Love. Happy fall, everyone. I have been gone for the entire summer. Not gone, but not on YouTube, not on my Etsy store, not on eBay, just kind of out there. Um, we moved, so it's been crazy. I've moved cross-country, and let me tell you, moving across country was easier than this move that we did four or five miles down the road, so... <sighs> I'm taking a break now. I'm back in my craft room. It's almost all decorated and all unpacked. And I promised the last time that I was on that I would show you some of my unfinished projects and that I would make a commitment to finish some. And so I thought I would share this one first for Halloween and for fall because it's uh, definitely Halloween-y and fall -y. So here we go. Um, I used the authentic enchanted collection the 12 by 12 stack i absolutely love this the colors are great the oranges and love the hounds too and you could make a very very masculine mini album with this and as you know i struggle with masculinity so well not masculinity but masculinity making um cards and mini albums so this was a big help for me. <laughs> All right, so this is made from eight and a half by 11 papers, which I thought was pretty cool. I cannot remember whose tutorial I used. I think it might have been my sister Scrapper. I'm not sure. I had watched a video where she had made one that was similar to this, and I modified it a little bit. I made my pockets a little bit bigger so that they would hold a little bigger picture, so. Um, the front I kept kind of simple. I didn't put a closure on it. I didn't really think it needed it. I thought it might add too much bulk if I did. So I just put a little foam sticker from the dollar store, a little crow, some basic gray. I think they're called uh, felties. I love these little stickers. I don't ever know where to buy them in a craft store, but I always find them at Big Lots. So if you're looking for felties, go to Big Lots. Just some blings and some little cane company spiders, a little spider web, a little key from Michaels. This was from my stash, this little um, spider web thing, and this was an earring that I cut up and put on for a little chain. This scrolly thing in the background is actually a napkin ring, a paper napkin ring, and I thought it was really pretty, so I put that on there for some edging and then just a piece of lace from my stash and I kept the back very plain with just a little um, ghoulie owl embellishment. Okay so you open it up and I kept all the pages as far as the tags go on the inside the same and I made it very simple it's very minimally embellished. This pretty pretty scroll here if you can see that was a pocket for an invitation and I just cut it up a little bit and used it as the pocket for the front and just made a little tag. I might make some more tags to stick in there, I'm not sure. And then out of scraps I made a little pocket tag and some little small pieces of paper in there for some journaling. Um, I should have probably put a backing or a mat on some of those just because the paper is so dark. But everybody owns Sharpies nowadays, so I'm sure that will work. And then I put another little Cane Company spider there. Some more stickers from the dollar store. And then each page has, I made a tag for journaling, put a tag for journaling in there, and then just a plain photo mat. And I tried to make all of them different except for the journaling tag. And then each page on the top has a pullout that you can fit a nice four by six on. And I put a little, um, just a little tag on them that I cut from one of my Sizzix dies. I believe it's tags too. And then the second page, like I said, the same thing. I kept all of my mats pretty much the same throughout, but different papers. And third page, same thing journaling mat, or journaling tag, photo mat, pull out. 
and then two larger photo mats here again and then it just repeats journaling tag photo mat I won't pull them all out and some foam blingy stickers from the dollar store same here I got these at the dollar store they were in a, a big pack with witches owls skulls crows it, they were great And a little bat there. And again, some photo mats. I love this paper. The one with the writing on it. Oopsie. The red. I love that. And I like the music on the back also. But I'm on a screen. There we go. <laughs> Oops. Okay, and just some more journaling and photo mats. And I left the back blank. Um, I might put a little scroll or something up here. Not sure. Probably not. I kind of want to just get this one done. I've been working on it forever. I actually started this last year at Halloween. So it's time to wrap it up and get her done. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed it. And I will try to find the tutorial that... I kind of followed and post it and if not um, check out my sister scrapper I think that she may have one similar to this and that is it I'll see you next time happy fall bye